What's up you guys? Welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to be doing a trailer reaction to the official and I guess final trailer for Black Widow. Uh, yeah, this is really the second sort of official trailer. We had the first trailer which came out neither in November or December or something like that. And the trailer itself, you know, it was alright. It was kind of like, eh, you know, just showing that it's going to be a prequel for Black Widow, showing her adventures in between Civil War and Infinity War. But I guess overall this trailer just still got and gave me sort of like a meh feeling just because I'm all like, it's great they're giving sort of Black Widow a movie. You know, she's a worthy candidate for one, but this, t this is like six years like overdue and the fact that it's like not moving the story forward like I said it's taking place in between Civil War and Infinity War that's why I'm kind of like well let's wait and see sure what's interesting about that first trailer is that I don't think it did a good job of communicating that when this movie is taking place you know it didn't really give like any hints that was showing that this was taking place in between Civil War and Infinity War I think it was trying to confuse the audience thinking that it was going to be something to move the story forward otherwise people would just be like what the hell she died in Endgame what the hell's going on here so yeah here comes this trailer let's see if this really is going sort of like really build that hype to really be sort of that big mark Marvel movie this year. So watching the trailer in three, two, one, watching click. I tell people my sister moved out west. You're a science teacher. Your husband he renovates houses. You're thinking about moving, but you're gonna wait until the interest rates go down. That's not my story. Okay. Before I was an Avenger, I made mistakes. And a lot of enemies. Taskmaster. He's called Sam's Taskmaster. He controls the Red Room. They're manipulated, fully conscious, but no choices. I should have come back for you. Oh, the, the surgery. We have to go back to where it all started. So they never do that to anyone again. We're a family. We fight with you. You won't win. I've always found it best. Not to look into the past. Shall I just stay dug and come? My plan was to drive us away. Where your plan sucks. <laughs> At some point, we all have to choose between what the world wants you to be. Huh. He's always coming back to general. I made my choice. I'm done running. Natasha, don't slouch. I'm not slouching. You want to get a big hunch. You listen to your mother. Oh my god, this up, up, is... Alright, enough. Oh. All of you. I didn't say anything. That's not fair. Wasn't really that funny, but okay. Um, okay. One thing I'm gonna say once again is that this trailer they just really aren't given any hints as to like when this movie is taking place like I said it's taking place in between Civil War and Infinity War and there are like no signs of that at all in this trailer like I said she's got it's like the same hairstyle that she had from Endgame the same sort of like ponytail thing going on uh, like I said it's not showing like she's on the run after Tony Stark said like the authorities are coming after her after she sort of betrayed Team Stark uh, yeah nothing like that it's just showing like Honestly, this could be taking place after Endgame, even though it's not. And I think they would just really, I think they really are just trying to confuse the audience into thinking that this is going to be something to sort of move the story forward. So that's sort of like my mini rant coming just after watching the trailer. But overall, 
I think with this trailer, you saw that there was nothing in there that I got like super hyped about. But watching this trailer, what I am hoping for, the sort of vibes that it is giving me, is that I wanted to have sort of feel like Captain America uh, Winter Soldier, which Captain America Winter Soldier is like the best non-Avengers uh, Marvel movie. I mean, that's just my, that's my, what I think is the best. That's what I think is my favorite. It's just so well done, the story, and especially the action, you know, the sort of hand-to-hand -hand combat scenes fantastic stuff right there um with this trailer you know what i'm think what i'm hoping for for this movie just give me some of that give me a cool ass spy story give me some cool hand-to-hand -hand action scenes uh give me some solid character stuff here and there but overall just make it sort of like a tight really cool like action movie and i think that's what that's this is going for and i think that's sort of the best thing for a Black Widow movie is to go and sort of copy off of those Captain America Winter Soldier vibes. Obviously she was in Captain America Winter Soldier, but I think that vibe and that tone was gonna work sort of well for this one. Overall the characters, you got Black Widow, she's still like great doing her thing. You got her family members, the two other girls. One is Rachel Weiss. The other is an actress who was in like an Oscar movie recently. I can't, her name's Florence something. I can't remember the movie though. And then you got David Harbour from Hunger Games. And he looks like he's having fun in his role. And people bitching about Taskmaster's uh, look from the first trailer just because it's not the full-on skull kind of look. But I'm like, this look, it works. It sort of communicates that it is Taskmaster, but maybe sort of a more realistic version in terms of the look. Um, so yeah, like I said, I just want some cool action. I want a tight story. And I definitely, I want some Winter Soldier vibes. And this trailer is sort of communicating that to me, even though I'm still not super hyped for this movie. I'm like, well, you know what? I'm going to go in just hoping to enjoy sort of a, a cool story so that's what i'm going for with this trailer or the vibes i'm getting from for this movie from this trailer so that about do it for this trailer reaction i hope you all enjoyed and thank you for watching